Maybe it could be any little field. Alright, so for those of you that don't know, <clears throat> this is West, West of Loathing. It's, uh. Change character. I, I tried to change character. How do I. Oh, here we go. Yancy Dalton! For protagonizing. Oh look, a sec give me give me points here. Edit your name, edit your character. Alright, so Alright, enter Oh, hold on. Okay, so first name. First name can be Uh what should we do for a first name? Uh Okay. Okay, so I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Alright. Well, we're going to have for a character class. What's this? Cow punches solve their problems with their fists. Where they're shaking them at a disagreeable fella in a disreputable saloon. I'm using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable fella in a slightly less reputable saloon. <laughs> what the fuck? You've heard that cow punchers are in demand out west since the cows came home. Which stands to reason, the cows aren't going to punch themselves after all. Okay, what else is there? A bean slinger. The fuck? Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined in loathing. And the bean slinger is the mythical master of loath. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home. Do most of the cooks haven't been brutally killed by the cows. Holy fuck. I don't know if I want to do that, huh? Snake oiler. Snake oilers rely on their moxie and... What the f... I don't... Whatever that is, to tame snakes. <laughs> their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing pretty well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions, and in the hope and hope in these dark days. And also out west is where all the best snakes live. I mean, I think I'm gonna. I'll. I'll, I'll uh, I kind of want to punch a cow in the face, but the cow's not really. Whoa, wait a minute. Let's, um... Bean Slinger. Well, you know, fuck it. Let's be a bean... Let's be a bean slinger. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? We got a character. Which is your mom. You're welcome. Uh, my stomach... What? Your stomach capacity determines how many food items you can eat before you need a nap. Also, you can't take naps... You can only go to sleep for an entire night. <laughs> Why in the hell did it say I could take a nap? Liver. Your liver capacity determines how many alcoholic drinks you can handle before you have to sleep it off. So, right now, it's not really with spleen. Capacity determines how many potions you can use in a day. Hit points determine how much damage you can take before you're knocked unconscious. Being knocked unconscious means you lose whatever fight you're in, as far as you know. That's nice. Speed determines how who goes first in combat. If your speed is higher than that of your primary enemy, your team will go first. If your speed is higher than that of your primary enemy, your team will go first. Oh, okay. Otherwise, theirs will. If both sides have equal speed, there will be a coin flip to see who goes first. The West may be brutal, but it is fair. Spell damage bonus. This bonus makes your spell do more damage. Muscle. Mysticality, a moxie, a grit, a gumption, and glamour. Hellbender. Outfoxen. Perks, bean shield, lava, fava. Huh. Alright. Okay, 
So, I can move. W A S D. We were supposed to appear here one night. Goodbye, desk. I can comb my hair. Okay, let's. Hey, Russell, how you doing? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, caw. Here, have a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. You know what, maybe... You open the bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you and calls one last time and flies away to the west. It's time to hit the trail. Alright, that's fine. What's this thing? Goodbye, phonograph. Oh. I could turn it back on. You read this spine in the book. Escape from Monster Barn. Roughest like this one, much as I did. Sam Hardy and the Trouble at the Cursed Cabin. This was one of my favorites. Gene Swift and the Black Church. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. Okay. The Treasure of the Forgotten Cove. Um, yeah, okay. Connie Smith and the Spooky Groove. I think it's Groove, but... Oh, hey. This one might come in handy. You got an idol, walking stupid. What? So I... Oh, wait, I got inventory. Okay, so I have no hat. Oh, I could be a share. Oh, I could get a gun? Whoa. Whoa. Walking stupid. This book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who was really, really bad at walking. I'll walk stupid walking as an option. Read the book. I'm going to kind of learn how to walk really stupidly. Okay. You accidentally dropped the book and ruined it by stepping on it 30 times while trying to pick it up. <laughs> your stuff. Your gear. That's kind of funny. Oh. What the fuck? Yeah, he does walk pretty stupid. Look at this! Goodbye, bed. Time to head to the west. What do we got? Nothing on the hat rack. What a mess. Oh, I can stack wood. Oh, look, I gain some XP. Hearth really puts a hearth and hearth and home. Hearth, but. You know, Miss Mom's cooking. Yeah, you're right. No, I don't. Go back in there. I'm not done yet. What else is it? What the fuck? Keeps all the pies safe. Ooh. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Look at this. <laughs> what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> Alright, uh, you pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. I don't speak German. Okay. Your brother's books. Uh, is that Latin? I don't know. Oh, what's in here? I got a puzzle cube. Okay. So tidy. Look how weird diagrams and charts. I love the walking. You miss the meals with the family. Is there nothing else in here? No, okay. Outside. Family's fu Look at the fucking. Look at this nutsack walking around. Literally. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. You're gonna miss your kiddo. Oh, before you leave, I got you a present. Ooh, a present? Yes. It's a book you wanted for Crumbo. I know it's early, but what the fuck is Crumbo? Picking locks, desert survival, or the one about bartering. Uh, I mean, I did just watch Thor Ragnarok, and I chose magic. So how about picking locks? Because, you know, Loki, the god of mischief. Oh, but pick locks. That's the one. Enjoy it. You got an item. Uh, please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom. Goodbye. So what's this? Uh, super walking. Oh, okay. So oh, I can turn it on and off. Okay. Automatically spend XP. Yeah, I really don't care. I'm just having some fun. What do you got here? So this is the, how to pick locks. I mean, the book comprehensive guide advanced in the whole chapter on tumblers. Hmm. I can pick locks now. 
After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon the orphans will be able to there. Oh my god! <laughs> Teach kids how to fucking steal. Uh. All right. Uh, look a haystack. I can dig in the haystack. I got a needle. Okay, that's nice. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. Uh. Yeah, I'll just not. Don't need to be a dick. Your father, Jazz, it's time for me to leave, Dad. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. Can of in infinite beans. Oh, huh, cool. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your brother. I did goodbye to him. I didn't say goodbye to my brother yet. Better spirit holding together. It's probably best for him to just go. Oh, uh, alright. Bye. Your brother, Rufus, is standing there looking nervous. He's pretty good looking nervous. I guess I gave him this puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fishing with it. Time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a good point, you know. Why are you going west? Uh why am I going west? Uh to 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 get to get rich. I'm gonna take something myself. Or I can get some meat. What? But it's so dangerous. Sixty percent of the people who go west get killed within a year. That's a statistic from before the cows came home. Ah, fuck that, I'll be alright. Don't worry about taking care of mom and dad, I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so, I still think you'll be dead by Krumbo. Is that supposed to be Christmas? I don't know. I'll miss you. Okay. Punch him in the arm when you leave. That weird kid. Look at this walking. So go west. Go west, young man. I'll show him out. <clears throat> I could skip the credits, but you know what? Let's watch him, because sometimes it's funny stuff. The horse is pretty funny looking. What is, is that a turnip truck? That's funny. That's pretty funny. West Cleveland. Stunt coordinator. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about the coughing. <laughs> 200 miles later. We actually got there, did we? Oh. Dirt water, 300 miles. Whoop. Whoop. Well, the bad news is he fell off the cart and got knocked out for a couple hours. And now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is you're in a town, rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. I guess we get out and we dust off. The town of Boring Springs. Oh, look. Little well, fucky the drunk, come on. Get your... Oh, okay. I can turn up. I got a dusty turnip. Can I pick up a rock? Ow. Well, he doesn't like that. A chunk of wood from the broken hitching post. So I'm stealing all kinds of shit. What's this? Oh, gross. What is that? It's just be like turds. Gone drinking. That's well, probably that guy there, isn't it? Oh, gross. Uh. Sheriff. Alright, let's, um. <laughs> As <laughs> you walk into the saloon, a crazy eye guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves so you get your attention. Hey! Where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, uh, you can't drink in here without a hat. It ain't proper. He points it, take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Are you kidding me? You look through the hat box, find a magical black statue. Looks like something you'd wear. Barely enchanted hat. Thanks. Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly or somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller. Oh, boy. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. You just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. Alright, I'll keep it mine. Is this old boy here? With his little fucking eyeballs? Whoops. 
What else is in there? Oh, boy's playing the piano. Probably leave him alone. <clears throat> lockpick. Oh, I don't need a lockpick yet. What's the boy doing? He's sleeping. He's trying to. They keep looking back and forth at the hands. How to play poker. He came with a deck. Biting their lips and concentrating really hard. Oh, good luck, boys. What's this? It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking at it, it's absolutely disgusting. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Oh, right out. Yes, it's full of spit. Regular. Gross tobacco. Chewing gum. It looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And a smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. I mean, just take it just a little closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth and crusted spittoon. <coughs> I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, there's something shining in the bottom. Oh, God. <coughs> this is going to make me want to vomit just thinking about it. Get in! You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Oh, God. It's like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. <laughs> it smells like vomit trough at a mystique, mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes it sound like glop. Oh, your skin is burning, your eyes start to water. I mean, you gotta search. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's touring, slowly not daring to risk flashing this content all over yourself. Your period have got some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations! You got an item. Nasty ring. <laughs> Hooray? Oh, that was gross. Alright, what's, what's old boy doing? You walk up the bar... Wait patiently for the bartender to notice you while waiting. You see a sign taped to the back of the wall reading reward for lost mugs. 25 meat each. He finally notices you. Howdy, boy. Howdy. Name's your... Name's your... Oh, that's me. <laughs> what brings you to this little backwater? I'm looking for work. <clears throat> Came out west. Make fortune. Not to have much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up at Dirtwater. <clears throat> railroad people by Dirtwater. Well, do we... I mean, there's stuff here. We could do errands. I kind of want to move west, so let's go too. Dirtwater. Dirtwater is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the damn cows. Lots of opportunity there. He pauses for a few seconds, lost in thought. Yep, if I were a younger man, I'd probably head that way myself. <clears throat> Alright, well, I guess we'll go about the railroad. The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a little line in Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? Oh, I'd reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company like that. Know, talk about errands now. You mentioned errands, yes. Sickenberg is always falling apart one way or another. The holster's always needing help. The hostler? The hostler. I'm gonna guess that has something to do with a horse. <laughs> a horse. A hostler. <laughs> Since he hurt his leg. And that. <laughs> no account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cow poke him from the gulch, shouldn't wipe his boots off, and got spores everywhere. What? Alright, let's. Well, what? I'll probably handle a goblin. Oh, Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this weak fungicide. I'll take care of it. I suppose. What's this, what's this old boy doing here? Howdy, I'm your. Howdy, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm a town hostler. I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Ah, see, I was right. I'm so smart. <clears throat> How's that working out for you? All oh, those horses just flying out the door, so business is booming nice. No, I mean, horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're drinking here instead? Yep. Then me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. 
It's one of those vicious circle things. <laughs> well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One, kind of boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show you it. Alright. Well, he's gone. It's just... A woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. I'm gonna move that mouse because that's annoying. Oh, looks like we're going down here now. Alright, what do we got? We got some rocks. A pile of old newspapers. Boring Spring Gazette. Oh. oh! See, I'm not anywhere. I'm trying to get to the whiskey here. Nurse, brain whiskey. Good for what ails you. That's good. Goblin shouts, Brock. Uh, attack the stupid bastard. We gotta jump on it this time. You can deal five to six damage to this target. Three. Ooh, nine hot damage. Surrender. Let's do this. Cast the spell. Ow. Oh, yeah? Get that. What's this do? Ooh. Whoops. Well, I should have done that first. Wow! Luckily, it doesn't do much damage. I forgot I had that fungicide. Well, I was dead now. Get defeated, Goblin. Having dispatched the Goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Actually, here I'm gonna grab my back scratcher. I'll scratch my back because I got an itch. Yeehaw! Skill up, mystically. Mysticality. Well, whatever. He left spores everywhere, though. You hose them down with what? Oh, yeah, with a can of fungicide. There you go. Let's head back upstairs, I suppose. Let's just check. Okay, it's just rocks and things. Uh, upstairs we go. And you still don't want to talk to me for anything. Good to see you again. Tip your hat at the bartender. I took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly. And you're your stand-up feller the moment you walked in. He reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. There you go. It's the least I can do for them. I got 200 meat. Oh, thanks. Uh, what's the girl at the end of the bar? I thought I'd say howdy. Oh. I wasn't... Wait. Shit, come here. I wasn't done with you. Who's the lady at the end of the bar I hit you? Uh, out of the beer mug. Whiskey out of a beer mug. Wow. That's Susie. She's a rancher from a nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommending you pester her. Why is that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustrations about it. Ew. Woman glares at you. Uh, howdy. Hi, cowboy. Who's gonna be searching this platoon for his teeth if you don't leave me in peace? No, no, I guess we won't talk right now. <clears throat> Let's see. Trade. Step right up, step right up. Brad's name trades a game. You seriously doubt his name is Braid. You're probably right. What you trading? Well, sir, today I am trading locks of soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. To the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides. Well, that uh, adventure, so I trade fine silver pocket watch. I'm gonna keep. I'm not ready to give up my needle yet. I might need it. Get lost. Hey, wait, there's a guy here. Howdy, Cactus Man. Name's Bill, Bill Cactus. What the fuck happened to you? I'll be honest, partner. I drank too much cactus beer. It turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. Is that why they call you Cactus Bill? No, it's just a coincidence. Does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. No, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation process is, keeps me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's my boring. <clears throat> I had to read. Hey, I got a newspaper. Much obliged. Now let me see what I can do to turn the fear. Oh, my shovel. I left behind the outhouse at Orhole Mine. Oh. Behind the outhouse. Got it. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now if you could just kind of stick that newspaper in front of my face before you leave. Huh. Nope, you're not allowed to peek up anymore. Oh, that's where I came from. 
Uh, let's go. Well, I guess the sheriff is someone he's talking to. Welcome to Born Springs. I'm sheriff in these parts. What the? It's sheriff, okay? But that's the sign painter, so. Won't be looking for work. Uh, duh, yeah, yeah. Great. I got some. Gang of hoodlums around what call themselves the Fricker Gang. <laughs> Last time I got arrested, they busted out took my cell door. That ain't much good without the cell door. Okay, and? I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it? I gotta stay here and practice my chair tipping. Now, what the hell? I'm spending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes a pistol out of his hands at you. You got an item, deputy pistol. You deputized a gun? You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Right now in the Fricker Gang's hideout for you. You discovered a new map location. Got it. Be back with the door. Alright, let's see. So I got this stuff. Map. Oh! Apparently clicking on it sends you there. What's this idiot doing? Turd Fricker. <laughs> the Fricker Can's intrepid work lookout appears to be taking a little nap. Let's give him a chance. You poke turd with your third. It's thud. I'm gonna call him turd. It's thud. You're not supposed to be here. He's no road scholar, no shit. Seven years from now, the idiot makes sense. Well, I feel kind of bad about this idea of killing him. Fuck that, we're gonna fight his ass. Alright. So, 3, 4, 45, 10 hot damblage. I mean, we are a, a, a magic man. So, we're gonna wabam. Ow! Uh. Sorry, Jared. I do feel bad, though. Alright. What the fuck? Beer, barrel, cactus. I have forging skill. Pile of random stuff. Fricker game. I got a mug. A pair of silver cufflinks. That's decent. Anything else in here? Guess we go in the hole? Dozing in the bathtub. Tie him up. Whoa. Do I pass the soap or do I just tie him up? Well, I'll tie him up. Tie his hands together and the handles of the tub. The sheriff can collect him later. But sleeping bandits lie, I suppose. Yep. What's in here? Approach a fricker can. They're pretty gross and their poker game. It doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and you shop. <clears throat> the eye patch is quiet. You get his name is Snipe. And that squirrely one is his brother, Wimpy. Play here. I mean, we got to talk to him. Howdy, boys! Get me in. Oh, well, I pat raise an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? I'm here for the sheriff's door. Door to hell. Oh, oh that's a fight, is it? Uh, we gotta do this. As much damage as I can. He's gonna do a lot. Alright, um, I can't do that. Whack! Oh. Holy shit, he one banged me. At least they were kind enough to drag you outside after they beat you unconscious. Yep. Okay, so. They didn't take any of the stuff. But I didn't, I didn't win the fight, so I, I have to go back in, don't I? Do I have to do this all over again? I, I guess not. All right, we're gonna do this again. You're under arrest. I'll get back to you on that. Ow! I mean, who keeps smacking me? Alright, let's go back in there. <sighs> Alright, yeah. I'm here for Sheriff's door. 
Okay, it's a fight. Alright, uh... He's the one that does all the damage to me. There we go. Alright, we'll get rid of him. And he keeps hitting me because of that stupid thing. <coughs> Let's see if he hits. Okay, he hit me that time. Ow. I'm just gonna have to beat him to dead with this. There we go, he missed. Alright, we beat him. The leaders of the Fricker Gang are dead by your hand. The sheriff will be proud of you. Though you're not sure how your mother will feel. That's a good point. Skill up. Muscle. There you go. Time to recover the sheriff's door. That's a good point. Where is the stupid door? That was a mug. You get some money for that mug. Get the meat. I got the door. I don't see anything else in here. I can't take the lamp. Oh boy, snoozing there. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. Let's just make sure we got... I can't do that. Yeah, Alright, back to Born Springs. <clears throat> we do have to talk to old Horse Free Boy. But we'll take... I tried to miss that. It's disgusting. Quit stop breathing. Did you rescue me at cell door? Nice work, stranger. Just about four times more secure. One or two. Oh, that's neat. Got another little task for you. If you got the time, it should be a lot simpler. Alright, let's, let's why not. Gonna need a new lock. Keep an eye out. Alright, so I find a, a rock. Is that a mug on the ground? Oh, it is. I think I could sell the mugs here, right? I found these mugs. Accomplished. Oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta go to the horse guy, right? How's this business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. Oh my god. Tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Well, except for that, this completely ordinary one. Oh, stuff. Maybe I can help. Oh, uh, yeah. If you fetch myself this injury, I give me 30 meat for each, find each one. How many are there? <clears throat> There's three. He draws on the map. I got the ore hole, Born Springs Boneyard, and a thousand six gulch. Why? I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed it some of these oats. That should send it back here. Bag of homing oats. This special pigeon infused oats. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think that's pretty good for right now. It's about a half an hour's worth. I'm going to call it. Um, I think I'm just going to play this game through. So once a week, I think probably Mondays, I'm going to put a video of this game up. It's funny. I got a uh, Steam sale was on this past Christmas, and I bought a few games, and this is one of them. But I'm glad I did. It's a riot. Uh, I just felt like something a little different. I'm waiting for the new game to come out. I have no idea what the new Battlefield game is going to be. I'm excited for it because I'm, I don't know. Just kind of bored with the what we have available at the moment. So I hope you guys like. If you did, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all that gay shit. Like everybody has to say it now. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.